Wonder what our kids are learning in college? Well, 15 universities, including some Ivy League schools, are offering college credit to students who will inject feminist thinking into the popular website Wikipedia. Catherine Timpf is a reporter for CampusReform.org. She has more on the storming of Wikipedia projects. Uh, good morning to you, Catherine. Good morning to you, too. Whose idea yes. is this? FemTechNet, which is an organization of feminist scholars, set this up to have students be actually assigned to inject bias of feminism into Wikipedia articles about technology. Now, what that would look like, I don't really know. You know, in 1870s, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. A woman would have done it first, but she was stuck in the kitchen. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't really even know how he would do that. Well, you're being funny about that. Uh, they're being serious, though, aren't they? They are serious. And at LI's Campus Reform, we're always reporting on incidences of liberal bias on college campuses. Usually it's a little more subtle than a course actually to inject liberal bias in what is supposed to be factual articles. Right. And in particular, you know what, Catherine, you talk about how they're injecting their personal bias into right. these articles, which are, you know, I, I hate to say it, but Wikipedia is widely quoted because a lot of people are lazy. And <laughs> as we demonstrated yesterday on this show, we said, uh, go on Wikipedia and change our post. People did, completely made up. And so the worry is that stuff in Wikipedia is not accurate. You can say whatever you want, you know, but they're more concerned about making it politically correct than factually correct. And this is what our students at Ivy League universities are learning to do. This is the opposite of what they should be taught. Why do you think the universities, and, and we're talking about some, some big schools, uh, Yale, uh, uh, Penn State, uh, places like that, why would they be involved in a program like this? It's incredibly popular. Uh, feminism is incredibly popular. I would say maybe if they were approached about it and they said no, they'd be seen as sexist. I guess most of the editors of Wikipedia are males, and to teach students that just because something is done by males that automatically means it's sexist, that's an unsound argument. Sure. But it, now, if, if people try to, you know, put uh, feminist thinking into an article and it's accurate, you're okay with that, aren't you? I guess, but it's factual technical articles about technology. I don't even understand how exactly you could enter feminism and social justice is what they wanted to enter into these factual articles. That's a good point. If, if this was, um, if any other subject aside from feminism uh, was, uh, do you think there would be outrage that... There would be uh, outrage. Imagine if a conservative group was saying they were going to do this. It would be an absolute outrage, but especially on our college campuses, yeah. There is just so much liberal bias, and it's being taught almost as a fact. You know, we have professors slamming conservatives, making students feel uncomfortable for being conservatives, and this is just really a new low. They're not only teaching it, now you can get credit for it. All you right. can get credit for it. All right, uh, Catherine Timp from uh, campusreform.org. Catherine, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.